lava. Hey, what's up, guys? The Jor Dude here, and this is going to be the first episode of a new se YouTube series that I'm starting. Um, as we may know, the new expansion for Hearthstone, the Grand Tournament, has been announced on July 22nd, uh, so yesterday. And it's bringing out 130 new cards, which is really exciting. Um, it, I believe that Hearthstone kind of needed this. It's st it was starting to get a bit dry, and everyone was getting tired of patrons. Um, so we we are all really excited to see what this new expansion will come out with. What kind of new cards? What kind of new decks that we could bring to the table? So um, instead of doing a complete set review where I talk about every single card. I will be doing my predictions and opinions on selected cards that I think are particularly interesting. Um, so, obviously, they're going to be releasing or reveal revealing to us um, a couple cards like every day or so. So, like, um, there's no way where I can make a whole set review before it's actually released because once cards. Once more cards are shown to us, um, cards that are previously shown that aren't as good may be better now. We might see different combos that we could do, different synergies, different deck ideas that we could build some core cards around. Um, so that's why I can't do a, like, every week I talk about a set amount of cards. Just because that I can't keep up and it won't be as accurate. So instead I'll be talking about each, I'll, I'll be talking about certain cards that I think are cool. Um, so today I'm, or for this video, I'm going to talk about Lock and Load, uh, let's see, over here. So Lock and Load is a Hunter epic spell, and it reads, each time you cast a spell this turn, add a random Hunter card to your hand. So you're going to be playing this card in the beginning of your turn, then you may play like Hunter's Mark, Arcane Shot, Tracking, uh, Kill Command, Unleash the Hounds, um, and maybe we're going to get more Hunter spells in this expansion. I'm not going to count uh, Ball of Spires or something. That card's just like really bad. Um, but Lock and Load, like a lot of people have been talking about this. There's quite a bit of hype around this card. People think that it's going to be a really good card. That, um, So my opinions on this, like th this card is definitely more of a mid to late game strategy card because it's costing 2 mana and then you have to play a couple spells to go with it so you're going to have to be holding on to a couple spells in your hand if you want to combo it with this card um, so that's why it's only really good in the mid to late game there's no way you can make it efficient in the early game in the early game it's all about gain tempo, gain that board control um, as hunter so you're definitely not going to be playing this card in the early game so with this card it's kind of like a type of it's a type of card draw that Hunter was missing. We Hunter currently only has Quick Shot as a way of drawing cards um, for the class specifically, and that card Quick Shot isn't really like good card draw because it's a psycho and you're only cycling if you have no other cards in your hand. Um, so typically Hunters usually find themselves running out of fuel. So with Lock and Load, you're actually going to be refilling your hand, and it's going to be really nice. It's kind of similar to Mage and how Mage has. Um, See like Echo Medivh and Duplicate. It's not drawing cards directly from your deck, but you are getting new cards into your hand and refueling your hand for more plays in the future. And this is kind of something that Hunter needed. Uh, there are a lot of Hunter cards that you could get from this card, so you can maybe get more Savannah High Mains, you might get um, Quick Shots, you might get more Kill Commands. Uh, there are some crappy cards you could get, you could get like Beast Drill La Bistro Wrath, you could get Ball of Spiders, um, you could get, what are some bad Hunter cards? You could get a bunch of secrets. Um, generally though, I do think that the quality of the Hunter card you're going to get um, is going to be pretty good. Um, this deck, this card, Lock and Load, it's not really something that you want to play in the current Hunter list. Uh, right now we're seeing mainly mid-range and hybrid hunters and those decks are mainly dependent on getting the board control with minions and taking that tempo and pushing to be aggressive and just winning the game from that um, but with lock and load you your deck does require a couple of spells and I would say it have to be fairly cheap spells for it to be effective um, so 
with lock and load, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to make a new type of hunter. So a lot of hunter players, um, I I know that I'm going to definitely be experimenting around, um, trying to make different lock and load lists. And what I was thinking, like, definitely tracking is going to be coming back. Tracking is such a great card, but in the current meta, uh, tracking is not very good in our current hunter list. But with lock and load. Tracking is going to be a great card to have. You're going to be able to find the cards you need, and you're getting a free hunter hunter card with lock and load. Um, probably people are going to be trying to play double hunters mark. That way, it punishes stuff like druids that are trying to get tempo by playing uh, really good mid game threats. So if you drop like druid claws and stuff, you could just hunters mark because you have two. And um, yeah, then you're going to have the standard spell, you're going to have kill command, you're going to have quick shot. There's just going to be a lot of stuff you could do with lock and load um, to combo it up. Now, um, my initial idea was to make more of a token hunter. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to work, but I was thinking about having stuff like... Maybe maybe I'll have double snake traps where you're going to get a bunch of minions on the board. Uh, you have haunted creeper, you could use hound masters. You have Unleash the Hounds. You're just going to get a bunch of small minions on board. It's and then you could play stuff like Defender of Argus. You could have Scavenging Hyena and stuff like that. And then to gain advantage, you're going to have your, like, your Double Hunters Mark. And you're going to be able to find them with your trackings. And you're going to be playing them with your Lock and Load. And you're going to get the board advantage and tempo that way. Uh, so that's just my opinion. That's just one type of deck that I was thinking uh, Lock and Load could go in with. Um, but I'm sure there's going to be a couple more that people are going to discover. So overall my opinion about this card is that I think it's a great card for Hunters. Um, hunters is already a broken class and they're just making it even better with this card. It's super efficient and you're going to be able to refuel your hand, something that Hunters was missing and they us Hunters usually lose when they start to rely only on top decks. So like this card is just great. Um, of course it does require a new type of strategy, a new type of list with Hunter, but uh, definitely there are a lot of great hunter players out there, so we're definitely going to uh, figure something out to work with this. Overall, I think it's a great card, and it would definitely see some co competitive play. Uh, and that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Go check out my channel. Subscribe to my channel to watch some more reviews and first look on the new cards that will be coming out on the Grand Tournament. So thanks for watching, um, and 